so many great memories. In my mind, uh, when I think of China, I think of Gansu province. Now we would become Lao Pang Yong, old friends. I feel uh, so blessed that my music has been useful in some way to help nurture the, the friendships between our states and provinces and our cities. So this is kind of how I might play fiddle, but I might could go. There's something about it that I, that really I connect with because um, there's something interesting about folk music of different countries and especially the Chinese folk music and the American folk music where they're often using the same scales. This becomes a tool for us to communicate and connect with an audience our feelings and the things that we have inside of us, which is the real gift. But it's just a different feeling, so we don't have to study we just have to get the feeling of the music and be open to the feeling, a new feeling. That's also the same with, with friendships. And we're talking about a friendship, an old friendship between Oklahoma and Gansu. I think what, it, what happens is there's people that have decided to be open to a new feeling and be a part of it. I was on tour in China in 2016 and at the end of the tour, as a going away gift, they gave me the Zhongruan and I took it home with me. And in order to honor the gift, I decided to learn to play and I started writing new music for it. I thought it sounded like my like American music on this in Chinese instrument, but they were connecting with it just because of the sound of the instrument. And so that's what led me to the, the idea to write a music that celebrates our friendship. Sister State of Gansu Province between Gansu and Oklahoma using the, this particular instrument. And it's the, the title of the song is uh, La Pagnon, Old Friends. And the, the gist of the song is, is to sing with me, drink with me, share with me. I'll soon be gone, but I'm coming back again. And I like to say that, you know, for thousands of years, the Silk Road was the, the connecting point between the East and the West, and Dunhuang being that, that crossroad of the East and the West. And, and all this culture in ex was exchanging for all these thousands of years. An, an old instrument that looks like this, or an ancestor, was somehow traveling and voyaging and making its way into Europe. And then at a point of the age of exploration and ships were being sent out across the globe, discovery of, of new lands and new territories. And then as a kid, I would learn to play the fiddle. And I would love the country music. And, and then now here I am in China playing the fiddle. And it's because of the Silk Road it's because of the thousands of years of exchange of culture. As a goodwill ambassador um, from the state of Oklahoma is that um, really I feel it's just to simply be useful in nurturing this friendship between our states. But if I have to say specifically I was very proud to, to be a part of bringing together Qingyang and Edmund. And, and now, 
I always say I'm doing my best to do my part, but try my very best to make the connections for the people of Gansu, the delegations that come to visit Oklahoma, um, to make the significant and meaningful connections for them. I'm just, uh, just a, I'm just a part of this chapter of cultural exchange, what a little bit of exchange, the impact that it might have on the globe. And so I feel uh, so blessed that my music has been useful in some way to help nurture the, the friendships between our states and provinces and our cities.